So, these, uh, these globes are made in response to what's been going on in science. Traditionally, science has been able to divide and to get into more and more detail. Actually, the word science means to separate. So, over the hundreds of years of science, we get into so much detail that we got into the atom and into the nucleus and into nuclear science and the, um, the, the, so much detail that we now have that actually to understand how everything works, we need to go back and we need to zoom out because everything is related and the relationships, that is what we really haven't studied in science. So the interesting thing is if we zoom out and look at the globe as it, in its entirety, then maybe we get an idea of what's going on in the world. And that's what I've been trying to do here. So, for instance, this globe, just one topic, tells you the life expectancy. And this is data that's already two or three years old, which is another problem. But so this shows that if somebody gets born today, the average would be about 70, or maybe even now it's maybe 70 and a half years worldwide, which is amazing because only 50 years ago, the life expectancy was about just over 50. So the world has improved dramatically, and we have so many more people. And I've shown this so that this is easy to understand with regional numbers in gray, and every country gets a little red number. So you can compare which country is doing how well. And um, there are a whole number of topics dealing with these sort of global social uh, geography. This one very simply translates the, uh, the, the word Earth into 80 different languages, and then the, the size of the letters represent the amount of speakers. This is about the amount of uh, population. If you project one population onto another territory, you see how large and how, how strangely distributed people are. This is about the, the morphology of science. In a way, it's interesting because science is in itself has a non-geographical shape, but all the geographical, all the scientific paradigms have a relationship to each other. So the scientific uh, fields rely on each other's research. And this is the kind of relationship map of these fields. And that's how actually science right now has a shape. Uh, the comparison of countries versus companies. So this is, for instance, uh, a company like uh, AT&T has the same size as Cuba and uh, Costa Rica com combined, or you look at Volkswagen, that is like Peru and Ecuador together. And I brought 15 out of 400 different topics, out of a thousand globes that I've made over the last 25 years, to the Big Bang Data exhibition, where they will be part of this exhibition for the next two months at the Central Cultural Digital in Mexico City.